Mitch Slender. I'm Chief Operating Officer for Pacific Northwest National Lab and Deputy Laboratory Director for Operations. In this video, you'll see the work of a PNNL research crew on the water who made a critical decision to get out of hazardous conditions and back to shore. One man is dead after a high wind capsized a boat on the Columbia River this morning. A crew from the Columbia River Intertribal Fish Commission set out on the Columbia on a clear April morning. Their mission, a morning sea lion count. On their return, conditions worsened. A large wave broke over the bow of their boat, causing them to capsize. The crew was able to hold on while their boat sank. They were plucked from the waters by rescuers in what was described as a harrowing operation in seven-foot swells. Three crew members survived, but their captain, 56-year-old Yakima Nation member Greg George, died after being flown to a Portland hospital. PNNL researcher Sean Zimmerman was on the water that day. He and another staff member launched their boat just down the river from the fatal accident. And so we were heading into it um, after, after we launched. It wasn't until we actually got the boat launched and down around the corner that, uh, that we started seeing the wind and the waves. And um, we kind of went over a couple swells and I looked at the rest of the river and I just decided that it was not going to be good for that little boat or us to continue on. And, and I just didn't feel comfortable being out there under, those, under that, that set of conditions. Zimmerman got safely back to shore, knowing that safety was the first priority. He says he felt comfortable making the decision and knows he has the support of his manager. It's just part of the, the culture that I feel like I'm part of at, at PNNL, or that it is your right to, to make a judgment call. And it, and it might affect everybody and it might affect a project. Safety is always more important than getting project results. I always tell staff that, you know, I'll, I'll have your back. And Sean's action was a good reminder that, that we all need to, to be conscious of safety issues and, and take precautions when it's, when it's appropriate. Zimmerman says he maintains a healthy respect for what can go wrong something that informs all of his work, especially in high-risk environments. It's a lot better to make sure that everybody gets home and you can go have some hot chocolate and warm up than it is to have lots of phone calls and paperwork because something bad happened. Zimmerman knew the boat captain who died on that April day. The death left him reflecting on what's most important when doing his work. It just, kind of, it just makes you think about well, what could have happened and how would that affect the ones that I would have been leaving behind. We're sharing these stories with you periodically to demonstrate the safe conduct research principles. These principles are important because they provide a common framework for you to make good decisions every day about your safety. Wherever you find yourself in your day, in your office, in your laboratory, or on the water, we all have to maintain a healthy respect for what can go wrong. Remember, safety is a value for the laboratory. Your managers will stand behind you. And please share these messages with others in your organization. If you have stories that you'd like to share that demonstrate the safe kind of research principles, I'd like to hear about it. Thanks for all you do, and stay safe.